If you don't know these common instances on Roblox Studio you're cooked. The part is the core building block for any game, experiment with its properties. While the mesh part is like if a part got plastic surgery, you can import custom 3D shapes, very commonly from Blender. I can put my homegirl into Roblox now. I can organize those parts with the folder to make it tolerable to look at or alternatively I can use the model, which is specifically made for parts and lets me move an entire model at once with Roblox Studio tools. If I want to decorate my parts I can put decals or textures which lets me put an image onto them. A decal will stretch it out while a texture repeats. I can also pair it with a sound so it will play a scary noise. Let's put it all under a tool so that my character can use it. Make sure to name a part handle to be able to hold it. But wait! I can't use it yet. We need to use scripts, which run your game. If you want anything to happen after you press play then you need a script. To use a script you need to learn how to code, specifically Luau. But don't worry, your homeboy Young Nuisance will teach you some coding in the upcoming videos. Apart from that I would recommend looking at free models from the toolbox. They'll not only include scripts but also the rest of the instances we covered in this video and more. Be careful, however, some models are malicious, often due to their scripts. Whenever in doubt use the creator hub to look up anything, or AI like you always do. Young Nuisance out.